Okay, good morning. Uh, how many of you are serious people? Serious people? Very serious people? Okay, how many of you are not so serious people? Okay, uh, a little bit of a moment, not sure what's going on over here. Okay, very good. Good morning, welcome. All right, welcome everybody. Everybody do this. Do this, do this, stretch a little bit. Yeah, all right. Uh, like that, don't hit the other person. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. Welcome, okay? So, we, we actually going to be dealing with communication as a game. How many people like games? How many people like to win at the games? More hands should be going up, right? Okay, the other thing we had done in the last course was, um, we actually got some things cleared. Um, so let me just ask you a few questions and please raise your hand in response, okay? So, human beings. This is, please keep your hands up, keep your hand up, because next time, no, not two of them. Achha, you're raising for him also, Achha. okay. So just look around, okay, everybody, there's no aliens in this room? Fine, okay, time to time I'll do that, so just in case, you know, there is somebody. Uh, how many men in this room? Excellent, how many women in this room? Excellent, how many leaders in this room? Not everybody's hand is up though. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing, okay, I just want you to know that we, as a team here at IIT Bombay, just have five days to establish a relationship with you, okay? To deliver on something which is important at a national level for the resources that we are developing in terms of the people who will be, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be touching. Do you know you'll be touching people? How many, how many of you at least touched two people in your lives? 100, 1,000, okay, the numbers are gonna go up. The numbers are going to go up. So who you are is someone who's going to be touching thousands of people. And we just have five days to establish, it says mission somewhere here, right? There's a mission here, right? This word over here, mission, can you see it? Mission. This is a mission. It might even be on your bags or somewhere on your pad somewhere. Okay, we're on a mission. Everybody? So if you're on a mission, it's not like get up in the morning, have breakfast. No, it's not like that. Of course, you'll still have breakfast. But it's not the same. The focus is not what you had for breakfast. Okay? All right, very good. So we're going to get into game. Everybody enjoys a game? I'll tell you what. Um, students do not enjoy anything more than a game. Who will be your students, by the way? Teachers. When you, uh, oh, these are bada students. These are bada students. Difficult, no? How many of you have a difficulty in dealing with yourself, human beings? Okay, I'll usually say, a question, and then after that, I'll, I'll say human beings. It means if you're a human being, you have to deal with this. Okay? So how many have a difficulty dealing with yourself, human beings? Everybody, human beings. See, aliens have already entered the building. Okay, each one of us has, if you're not dealing with, if you're not dealing with issues about ourselves, we're not in a mission mode. Everybody with me? If you're in a mission mode, you will have to give up ways that you know yourself to be. And you'll have to reinvent yourself on an hourly basis. Not on a monthly or a yearly basis. On an hourly basis, because each time you'll be confronted with a new thing that you have to deal with. So one of the things, you and then you go back from here and you actually have to deal with adults. How many of you are waiting for life to Human beings. You don't know, I'm, okay, we'll see, see, we do the work, all right, very good. Just five days, that's all we have to work together and create that partnership. So you've got to give yourself permission. I don't need permission from you. The fact that you're here, for me, is already a communication that who you are is someone who's committed to being on the mission. So I already had that relationship with you, so when people walk into your course in December, who they are is somebody who's already given you permission. Stop waiting for that permission. It's not going to come. They're not going to come up to you. You have permission to kind of do whatever you want with me. Okay? Everybody with me? Yes. All right. The coach here. Yeah, be clear about that. <laughs> okay? Anybody not clear about that, come talk to me at tea time. So who I am is the coach, and who you are is the player. Okay, and what's my job? No, uh -huh. training, uh -huh. all of that stuff. Is like, ka -ka -ka -ka. My job is to make you win. Hello. Any coach's job is to make the player win. Right? 
Are you up to winning? Or some of you will say, let me see how you make me win. <laughs> it doesn't work, OK? And you've got to be on the court. So you've got to be on the court. You've got to be willing. You've got to step up. When I'm asking you to share, you've got to get up and say, I want to share. I should have to say, because people want to share. I don't know which one to choose. That should be a problem for me. Not saying, chalo, chalo, please, na, kuch bolo na, course ke liye aay ho na. Aap mission pe ho ji, please. OK. All right, so we're into the game of communication. Everybody loves games? OK, good. Nowadays, you do a lot of the video. Uh, WhatsApp. WhatsApp is a famous game these days, right? OK, good. So no WhatsApp, no, put your phones away and all that stuff. Don't use WhatsApp here, OK? Everybody? All right, good. OK, that's me. A human being like you, OK? All right, given myself permission to be your coach. I don't need permission. That's the only difference right now, OK? All right, very good. I'm at IIT Bombay. I'm in the Center for Environmental Science and Engineering. We're going to be dealing with game of communication. What's the scoreboard, OK? So some thoughts, some experiments, some ways to empower. Um, some thoughts, some experiments, some ways to empower. Some ways to empower. And there isn't enough time for me to be able to tell you all the failures. Okay, the number of times that we, I have failed, or you know, we have failed, the number of uh, times, so whatever I'm going to be sharing with you are the successes. And if you can pick them up and use them, fabulous, but really invite you to make your own mistakes and you know, fail. Okay? All right, very good. So this, you know, what we're saying is there is, if communication is a game, we're looking at the shift in the game. We want to talk about a shift in the game. And all of you who are taking notes, please put your pens down. Because you never learned how to ride a bicycle by taking notes. <laughs> Everybody with me? Yeah. OK, excellent. These are available. These slides will be available to you. You're welcome to use them however you want. Uh, at this point in time, I'm really asking you to give yourself to, to, the, to the conversation. Okay. All right, so the focus on, till now, I'm just saying that the focus has been on what you present and how you present it. Yes, by and large? OK, all right. So if we shifted that game from what and how to who is presenting, God bless you, who is presenting, and who is it being presented to? OK, so are you clear who came into this room today in the form of this someone wearing a black jacket? OK, clear? All right. Now, I don't know whether you knew or not, people on a mission. I don't know how many actually walked in this morning over here saying, I'm on a mission. <laughs> you thought it was a good word to use because you know, funding from ministry, you have to use such words. <laughs> I, is it, listen, you are on a mission, so I'm clear who I'm dealing with. And I'll keep reinforcing. OK? All right, very good. All right, so let's Take a look, you know, when we say who is teaching, you know, you are teachers, who are, who's teaching? Usually we are teaching for training other people, improving them. Yes, all, all very noble, all very nice, right? Some of us do it because it's a job. Job, we have to do a job. We have to do it very uh, sincerely and honestly too, correct? Okay, so we do that. Some of us are duty bound. It is our duty. And, and we did some of this presentation. And one of the things I've said over there is, a lot of times, I've, in some situations in India, I've actually said thank you to somebody. And they say, oh, no, no, sir, it is my duty. <laughs> and I actually then have to wonder, if it is your duty, can I thank you? <laughs> OK, but no, it's, you know, what I'm doing is my duty. So a lot of people are duty bound. Um, oh, by the way, who's learning is somebody who's learning to pass an exam. Somehow, tell me what, what, what questions that I should understand and, you know, so that I actually pass. Or when you begin to realize the importance of exams, but you'll be doing it because you don't want to get punished. Children, OK? They don't want to get punished. Teacher will scold, or mother will scold, or father will scold, or somebody will scold, right? And therefore, you know, you want to avoid punishment. And uh, you have to do it, otherwise there are consequences. Everybody know? How many of you were children once? 
Okay, okay. How many of you still children? Uh, human beings, raise your hand. Okay. All of you are. All of you are. Because I tell you, I, I'll do some exercise during the next you know, two times. I'll be meeting with you. I'll do some work with you. And actually establish, scientifically establish, that who's in this room is children. Okay, how many adults here? See, now raising the hand is not going up. <laughs> Maybe then we'll have to change that lecture now because it's already established. Okay, very good. All right, so, you know, this is, so we have to examine who is teaching. If who's teaching is someone over here who's going to come over here and tell you how to do certain things, okay, now please go on and do it for yourself. Nice, nice meeting you. All right, what I was saying is that if we examine, so, you know, if I come over here and say, okay, these are the things you should do, Go ahead and do them. Nice meeting you. You know, when we're in that part of the country. By the way, I'll just divide the country into five parts. North, south, east, west, and central parts. How many people from North India? Raise your hand. North India. Okay. South India. Okay. East India. Okay. West. Central. Okay. Excellent. Somebody not from India? No, everybody. Are you? <laughs> See, by, I'm telling you, by the time you're done with this course, it doesn't matter if the question is asked, raise your hand. <laughs> All right, very good. Uh, so I think that's it. I, I, th here's what I want to leave you with, OK? What I want to leave you with is an articulation of these few questions, OK? Who are you? OK? And the first three paragraphs that you write, you'll have to just put a line across them, scratch it out, scratch it out, scratch it out. By the time you reach the third or the fourth paragraph, you won't have any more, anything more to write. Okay? That's the point where we'll begin to articulate yourself as who you are. Articulate inside of this mission. My invitation for you is to articulate yourself inside of this mission. You've known yourself a particular way, and, you know, and you've done great accomplishments, and I congratulate you, Paul. And I'm inviting you now to articulate yourself in a way in which it is consistent with the mission. Everybody with me? Okay, excellent. Uh, you'll have to also look at who are they. Most of the time, you'll know who they are. But if you put a mirror in front of yourself, you will know exactly who they are because they're an image of yourself. So you'll have to commit to who they are. Who is it that you're dealing with? Okay? That gives you the freedom then to be able to, we say this in the class a lot of times, I tell the students, I say, I'm going to, I honor you. And sometimes I might have to scold you for it. Everybody with me? Sometimes you do that to your children, right? Yes? Okay, good. Um, so, you know, one of the questions we'll deal with, exercise we'll deal with is, what is the question that they, after your communication, after your communication what, is the, what is the question that they should be able to answer successfully at the end of your communication? Okay, and if they didn't answer it successfully, who failed? Yeah, and you know, thing. What do you do? You restart. How many times did you fall off the bicycle when you learned how to ride a bicycle? You didn't count, no? But failing, every time you fail, I failed again, I failed again. Who cares? As long as what you committed to communicating gets communicated successfully and it's for the benefit of the people who you're communicating it to. Yes? Human beings? Yes. Okay, excellent. All right, this presentation was brought to you by IIT Bombay X. And I'm here. Uh, I just want you to know that I'm here participating in this mission as a, a, a partner in service of you. Okay? So just, you, can, you can just trust that I'll be available to you for anything that you need to be dealing with uh, from whatever I have learned and from whatever some, somebody else has taught me. I'll be you know, more than happy to share that with you so that you're successful. Okay? Good? So give a big clap to each other.